but I'm sure a lot of people are wondering what on earth is going on here and why is there no brake rotor on it? That's all part of the experiment. Please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. Way back in the day when racing was popular, here's a preview. And thousands of people showed up to race events. Prior to the season starting even at club level, you had to show up with all your wheels, all of them, immaculately cleaned, ready to go, and you dropped off your wheels. For four days, in this case Dunlop, went and balanced every single wheel that week and epoxied the weight to the wheel. Because at that point what they found was them using weights to actually adhere to the wheel itself disappeared by and large once the wheel was balanced. First part of getting new tires put on is you have to take the old weights off and generally speaking what we use is a little plastic tool like this or you can use a plastic razor blade yes they do exist so at that point this gets in there without damaging the paint but there's a price for that so let's go ahead and take our old duct tape off and you can see the glue residue from that then we want to go ahead and get in here get gently behind the weight and try and get as much backing as we can so it's easier to put the wheel against your body work that in as best you can and just take your time because you want to try and get as much of the adhesive backing as you can So then we're left with this mess to clean up and remove and depending on the age of the wheel weights and how long they've been in there, especially when they're adhesive versus the OEM ones, which sometimes attach to the center, especially on the front wheel, then you've got to get this off. I prefer to soak it in WD-40 and all gone. Both sides nice and clean. Now at that point, that's where it naturally balanced out with the valve stem. We are going to take that out because we are changing these wheels to a 90 degree valve stem and that is going to go in so that when the bike's on the kickstand then we want it on riders right. So let's pull this one out with a razor blade, do it carefully so it doesn't mar the wheel. Now before you install any other valve, always make sure that your rubber o-ring is in place. So that is the orientation we want. This is the way it attaches with the nut high. Okay, so that looks pretty good at 90 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and hold that and start snugging our lock nut down. Okay, that's tight. And let's go ahead and install the rear rotor and see what difference we get with that added to it. Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com.